There was nothing that happened today that was America last. This clearly lacked some of the theatrics that Trump's summits have had, including his summit with Putin in 2018, where Trump failed to defend America and agreed with Putin when Putin said that he hadn't engaged in any interference in our election. Biden did the work that he needed to do behind the scenes, not during the press conferences that happened afterwards, but he delivered a really tough message to Putin in private with Tony Blinken next to him. I agree with Daniel that Russia and Putin are at an all-time level of confidence because they haven't been boxed in by a president in many years. They're engaging in interference in anti-democratic activities. Uh, Putin is poisoning and killing all of his opponents. He's put, got his thumb on other countries in the region, including Ukraine, incl including the country of Georgia, and no one is there to stop him. And what Biden has to had to do today was to deliver a message that there will be repercussions if Putin and Russia continue this activity. Notably, Putin has changed the constitution in Russia so he can be president until 2036. He would actually be 83 years old if he continues that long. And he'll, if he stays on this track, the world would be a very diff different place and would be much less democratic. So president had to derail where Putin is headed. Hopefully he started that today and he needs to follow up with a very tough policy towards Russia and Putin, especially if they do continue to do some of the things mm -hmm. that Biden warned him today not to do.